based on what you have seen so far, what advice would you give Barbadian track and field officials in terms of improving and even making what we have better? I think the biggest thing that we have to start with is um, the facilities. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm fortunate to be in the atmosphere where I have, I walk out to the door and there's a training room staff, there's a weight room, there's a track, all that is available to me. Unfortunately for our, our young athletes in Barbados, we don't have the, all those things to help them to be better. And, you know, we can have the talent, but we have to still have the facilities to work on. And I know right now the stadium is in this respair. We use a UWI track and field. The last time I've been there, that started to fall apart a little bit. So I'm an advocate for our track and field in Barbados in terms of let's try to get a new stadium going because I think it's hurting our athletes tremendously. And not only that, but then what you'll see come from that is injuries, shin splints, ankles, all those things will start coming from poor conditions to train on in the day. And you can't really get any better if you don't have some place good to train. That's just the reality of it. So um, to those who are responsible, let's, let's, let's look at it and really put our heads forward and see what we can do for the youth. We always talk about youth and doing something to keep them off the streets. And we have a big track and field following in Barbados. So I would say, let's do that and let's get our, our youngsters someplace that they can feel well and call home. So that when they come to places like here in the Bahamas, they'll feel like they've already been somewhere like that.